Welcome to SAT Preparation by Third Space Learning. Oh, SAT's questions confuse me. I can help you. Everyone can learn how to answer SAT questions well. Let me take you on a maths mission to show you how. Whoa, we're in a jungle? Here we learn how to cut through the jungle of words in our SATS questions. Maths keywords are clues about what you should do. Do you remember that product is multiply and that difference means subtract and there are many more of these keywords. Also pay attention to what the question is asking, especially words like not or both. Example, find a factor of 30 that is not a factor of 15 is very different to find the number that is both a factor of 12 and 15. Time for our next mission! Phew! It's hot! What are we learning here? Well, imagine this desert is your SATS question. You're going to need some strategies to survive. For questions where you are ordering, cross out each as you go along. This helps you not to forget any by mistake. Remember to make all your units the same before calculating. So be careful with questions like this that has a mixture of both hours and minutes. Or in this question where the denominators need to be made the same before calculating. Try estimating your answer before you begin. So when you look back, you can be more sure if your answer is correct or you made a mistake. Finally, drawing a model may help you decide what to do. A bar model is an excellent way to understand the problem. Now we have strategies to survive this SATS desert. It's time to go on our last mission. Right, so we end in third space learning world. In your lessons, you'll notice a yellow what would help box in the corner. These remind you of the tips we learned today. Underline your keywords, cross off items, use a drawing to help understand the problem, check units of measurements, and estimate your answer to check if you're on the right track. We hope you found this helpful and good luck preparing for SATs. Good luck. Bye. Bye.